Welcome to Empowerment Technologies. Our topic for this video is to contextualize online search and research skills. Lesson Objectives Understand the internet used as a tool for credible research and information gathering. Identify search operators for advanced search. And apply the research skills to browse the internet efficiently and properly through proper referencing. Online search and research, also known as internet research. More than just googling, typing a word in a Google and then clicking the search button. It is a skill needed to be improved to get factual information. Online search is the process of interactively searching for and retrieving requested information via computer from databases that are online. The interactive searches became possible in the 1980s with the advent of faster databases and smart terminals. Next is the advantages and disadvantages of online search and research. Advantages Ability to obtain a large sample which increase statistical power. Data is automatically coded so no data entry errors. Last is to reduce cost of conducting research. For the disadvantages, first is the online is not totally secure and theft is one of the numerous danger it possess. Researchers' personal information is at risk of being accessed by rogue persons. Some of the materials on the internet have not been evaluated by experts or truly screened. Last is lack of accreditation and low quality. Next is the contextualized search. According to Feldman during 2012, these are skills or optimized way of searching the internet based on the context provided. Therefore, narrowing down the results given back to you by the search engine. The context is these are the event, statement, or idea in the terms you are searching for. Here are the steps to make contextualized online search. Number one is to identify or choose a topic. If the topic is not provided and you are free to choose the content, choose something you are interested in or new ideas. If a topic is provided, make an initial search of the subject usually with the help of Google or Wikipedia. Number two, Topic or task definition With the help of internet, use the Google search or Wikipedia or other sources to be able to define the topic or task. The internet will be able to provide you with the glimpse of what you want to understand and define. Number 3. Identify methods of search Here you can either perform experiments, explore, get a survey of the subject matter and textual content of the search. Number 4. Identify sources of your research. These are the reliable sources are very important to obtain the rich and accurate information for your research. Number five, make your research strategies. Here, you can list down all the keywords or specific topics to search on the internet. Identified books can be searched by title, subject, author, or ISBN. Number six, compiling the research results. These are the strategies of handling large amount of data is necessary for you to be able to shift through them for your final analysis, either to keep or delete them. Number seven is to evaluate the results of your research. Here you can go through the materials you have researched and check them for usefulness, relevance to your research, reliability, and accuracy. Then last, number eight, is to create a list of your references for citation. It is a good practice to keep your sources updated for your footnotes and bibliography. And this will save time going back to the net later. Search Engine Search Engines, it is a software system that is designed to search information on the World Wide Web. The search results are generally presented in a line result referred to as Search Engine Result Page. The information may be a mix of web pages, images, and other type of files. Here are some examples. Google, Bing, Yahoo, Ask.com, and AOL.com. We also have search operators when we do our research in different search engines. Search operators. It is sometimes referred to as a search parameter. It's also a character or string of characters used in a search engine query to narrow the focus of the search. 
Some of the examples are the quotations and not and or. Here is the example of the use of the quotation. Search operators using N. Search operators using NOT or the minus sign. Last is the search operators using OR, OR, OR sign. Next is the plagiarism. This is an act or instance of using or closely imitating the language and thought of another author without authorization. The presentations of that author's work as one's own, as by not crediting the original. Also, using other people's work and ideas without clearly acknowledging the source of the information. Here are some reminders to avoid plagiarism. First, you need to cite the things you copy on the internet. Here is the example. Next is put quotation marks around everything that comes directly from the text and cite the source. Next, to avoid plagiarism, paraphrase but be sure that you are not simply rearranging or replacing a few words and cite the source. Last is use the style manual in properly citing sources. Thank you for watching and I hope you have learned a lot in the contextualized online search and research skills. See you to our next lesson. Next topic is...